Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll run through how to set up the EC PCS Tester 35 waterproof multi-purpose meter. The EC PCS Tester 35 allows you to customise various parameters and settings. These can be found in two separate menus. There is a parameter setup and a system setup. To start we'll run through the parameter settings. To enter into parameter setup, start with the tester off. Press and hold the mode button, then press and release the on off button. Setup will appear. As you let go of the mode button, power will appear. Press hold or cal to move between parameter and system menu options. To set up parameters, press the mode enter button when power is on the screen. Navigating the menus is straightforward. Press the hold cal buttons to scroll through options and the mode enter button to select or confirm the displayed option. The first menu parameter selection is pH. Enter into pH by pressing mode. Here, you can select between USA or NIST calibration buffer groups. Use cal or hold to select your buffer group and mode to confirm. Once confirmed, the chosen value will blink on the screen before the unit moves on. The next pH parameter selection is the number of buffer points for calibration. Use cal or hold to select between three or five point calibration, then press mode to confirm. Once complete, the unit automatically exits the parameter. Pressing cal or hold now will move on to the next parameter, which is salinity. Press mode to enter into the salinity options. Press cal or hold to choose between a displayed unit measurement between parts per thousand or percentage. Press mode to confirm your choice and exit out of the salinity options. Next is TDS. Press mode to enter into the parameter setup. Here, you can use the cal and hold buttons to change the conversion factor the instrument uses to convert results from conductivity to TDS. This is adjustable from 0.4 to 1. The meter defaults to 0.71. Press mode to confirm and exit the TDS parameter setup. Last of all is conductivity. Press mode to enter. The first selection is to choose between automatic calibration, which is yes, or manual calibration, which is no. In automatic calibration mode, the meter will automatically choose one of three conductivity calibration standards depending on the ranges listed on the screen. If you will only be calibrating to either 84 or 1413 microsiemens per centimetre or 12.88 millisiemens per centimetre, automatic calibration is recommended. Otherwise, select manual. Press mode to save. The next conductivity option is a selection between single point or multipoint calibration. Use single point calibration to apply a single calibration value across all of the ranges. Use multipoint calibration to individually calibrate each range. This will restrict individual calibration so that it is applied to one range only. For best results when using multipoint calibration, perform calibration in each range that you expect to use. Pressing hold again to move on to the next point now takes us back to the start of the menu. If you are happy with your selections, you must now save the selections before exiting. To save, press and hold both hold and cal at the same time until you see SA appear on the screen. With the primary display showing SA and the secondary display showing yes, press mode to save the changes. The instrument will resume measurement mode with the updated parameter settings. Parameter setup is now complete. On to system setup. To enter into system setup, again start with the tester off. Press and hold the mode button, then press and release the on off button. Press hold or cal until SYST is displayed, then press mode to enter. To navigate the system menu, press cal and hold to move through the options and mode to confirm the selections. The first option is unit reset. Press mode to enter. Within Reset, the first option here is selecting a reset between pH or electrical conductivity, TDS and salinity. When a parameter is selected, you can then choose the type of reset between calibration reset or reset to factory default settings. The next setting is set. Here you can select temperature units. Press mode to enter, cal or hold to choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit, then press mode again to save. Next is set ATC. This is turning on or off automatic temperature compensation. Use cal or hold to choose between yes or no. If no, 25 degrees Celsius is used.
Next is set TC. This is a temperature coefficient setting. Use Cal and hold to adjust between 0.0, .0 to 10%. The default is 2.1%. The next setting is set A off. The default automatic shutoff time is eight and a half minutes. Use Cal and hold to select yes for on or no for off. Pressing hold again takes us back to the start of the menu. As we did with the parameter menu, it is vital to save selections here before returning to measurement mode. To do this again, press and hold, hold and cal until SA appears on the screen. When the upper display shows SA and the lower display shows yes, press mode to save the changes. The instrument will then resume measurement mode with the updated settings. Parameter and system settings are updated. The unit is ready to be calibrated or used. For more information on the meter, including videos, guides, and how to contact an instrument choice scientist for more information, see the links in the video description. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.